it's amazing to get an opportunity to be up close to one of the last four northern white rhinos on the planet. And the heartbreaking thing is knowing that in our lifetime, they are all gonna die. This species will go extinct. The amazing thing is thanks to the work being done here at the safari park, there's a chance that even after the species goes extinct, they might be able to bring them back. Zookeeper Jane Kennedy means that literally. Nola is the oldest female northern white rhino, and Jane knows one day Nola is going to die. That's why Nola is the first animal the keepers check on every day. The first one that sees Nola calls in and says, Nola looks good today, because we know it's coming, and it might be coming soon that we'll roll in in the morning and we'll have lost her too. For now, Nola is still active and playful. She also likes a little affection. Nola is too old to have babies, and the other living females can't either because of medical problems. That's why the effort to save the northern white rhino is moving to the lab. A lot of the high-tech stuff is being done right here in San Diego. Dr. Barbara Durant is working on a project in the Safari Park's frozen zoo. The idea is to use eggs and sperm from the living and recently deceased rhinos to create an embryo. They then use in vitro fertilization to impregnate a southern white rhino, turning it into a surrogate mother. I said it sounds like something out of Jurassic Park. It is a little bit on the science fiction end of things, but all of these things have been done in other species. We know that these techniques can work. In the meanwhile, all we can do is enjoy Nola while we have her and hope that someday we'll have a whole herd of northern white rhinos once again roaming the African plains. It'd be amazing if we could actually help this animal, and we really could end extinction. At the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, Jeff Lasky, 10 News.